We are more than one year away from Ohio's 2024 United States Senate race, but the candidates are already taking a look at their campaign funds. Our Curtis Jackson is t talking about this with Cleveland.com politics reporter Jeremy Pelzer. Jeremy, next year's U.S. Senate race is already shaping up to be flush with cash. What are we seeing so far as it relates to fundraising efforts from Matt Dolan, uh, the Republican candidate? Uh, we're seeing a lot of money being thrown in pretty early. Uh, he raised about $300,000 in the first three months of 2023, but then he gave his own campaign $3 million. Uh, Dolan's family owns the Cleveland Guardians, uh, if in case you're wondering where that money came from. Uh, that's as pretty early to be putting in that kind of money into a U.S. Senate race, keeping in mind uh, we are about, what, 18, 19 months away from the general election? Yeah, certainly is. Uh, we know that Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown is running for re-election. How are things shaping up for him financially? Well, he raised even more money. He raised uh, by himself, not uh, not from his own pocket, about $3.5 million in the uh, first three months of 2023. And according to his campaign, uh, that's a new record for that time period ahead of an election year. And... Um, you know, now he has about, what, $5.8 million on hand? So even for, uh, even as Senate races get more and more expensive over the years, that's still a pretty eye-popping number, again, this far ahead of the actual election. Yeah, let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, how do these numbers compare with previous U.S. Senate races, and especially as we looked at them in terms of the primary, right? The primaries are, are turning out to just be absolute windfalls, you know, for people like us, and, you know, certainly a great deal of expense for the candidates. Right. Well, keep in mind that Sherrod Brown isn't expected to have any primary opposition. He's expected, uh, if he does, it's going to be kind of um, very marginal candidates. But we're expecting to have a pretty bruising uh, Republican Senate primary. We have not only Matt Dolan, but uh, Bernie Moreno, a Cleveland car dealer, has entered the race. You could have Secretary of State Frank LaRose, uh, Congressman Warren Davidson, and others join the race as well. Uh, Brown, by comparison, back in 2017, before he ran for re-election in 2018, during the same period, raised about $2.4 million. And that raised eyebrows at the time, but now he's up to $3.5 million. So he's doing even better than that. It's yeah. Even above the, the inflation rate there. What are Dolan and Brown's team saying about their campaign efforts? Well, they're both uh, feeling pretty good about it, looking at their statements. Um, Matt Dolan's campaign says... The amount of money they have shows that they can run a well-funded, aggressive campaign to unseat Sherrod Brown next year, whereas Brown's campaign says that the amount of money that they have raised shows how much support he has among Ohioans. Bernie Moreno uh, recently filed paperwork to run again. Uh, he ran in the previous uh, Republican primary uh, just briefly uh, for Senate. Has he managed to raise any money yet? So the latest Federal Election Commission filings show that in the first three months of the year, he raised only about $8,600. But now that he's in the race, he expected, he's expected to raise a whole lot more than that. Uh, for example, even uh, during the weekend, he's expected to go to a fundraiser in Nashville, Tennessee with, among others, a number of uh, former Trump ambassadors to other countries. Hmm. Jeremy Pelzer with Cleveland.com. Jeremy, thanks.